close take in the scenes from before the Boston Red Sox's spring training opener against the New York Yankees' Brian Cooney, D. Cooney at News-Press.com Saturday was one tough ticket for a meaningless spring training contest between the defending world champion Boston Red Sox and their arch-rival New York Yankees. For New Englanders Sean and Rosemary Mead, the chance to watch their beloved Sox was worth every penny regardless of the price, I would have paid $1,000 of ticket to see this game, Sean said, let's put in this way, we paid well over face value for these tickets, Rosemary quipped. A chance to see the defending champions open their spring was what a capacity crowd at JetBlue Park witnessed as a three-run home run from one of their top-hitting prospects Michael Chavis in a five-run third inning carried the Red Sox to an 8-5 victory. Die-hard Red Sox fans like the Meads make the visit to Southwest Florida every spring to get a glimpse at some new faces and a look at last year's World Series heroes as Boston works to defend its title, this is why we come down to Florida, this will be the first time we've ever stayed down here the whole time, Sean said, this is our fourth year coming here and gradually we'd go for a week one year, two the next and last year it was three, Rosemary said, every year we come, Sean is like a little kid at the ballpark. We take a trip to Boston every year too. All of this is such a joy, a packed house for today's opener. Boston Red Sox were victorious over the New York Yankees in front of packed house in their spring training opener at JetBlue Park, Fort Myers, Florida. February 23, 2019 Photo 11, Andrea Melendez, The News Press, USA Today, Bob Chassia from Situate, Mass, and Mike Fry from East Bridgewater, Mass, have come down to Fort Myers to follow the Red Sox the past 13 years and have come to know many of the ballpark employees. Seeing familiar faces on top of seeing the team back on the field makes the return of baseball all the more exciting for the two, we've met so many nice people through the years, Chessia said. Spring training breaks up the winter for us. When we grew up, the Red Sox stunk. My son, I tell him you don't know how lucky you are, you've got the Celtics and the Bruins winning on top of the Patriots and the Sox, Chessia and Fry are both anxious to see how the Red Sox will handle the expectation of repeating as world champions, Boston's the city of champions now so it's just awesome to see them back down here to see how they'll do, Fry said. Boston Red Sox player, Stephen Wright, snags a kiss from his son Lucas before taking the field. Wright and his wife Shannon have two children, daughter Ella and son Lucas. Boston Red Sox were victorious over the New York Yankees in front of packed house in their spring training opener at JetBlue Park, Fort Myers, Florida. February 23, 2019 Photo 11, Andrea Melendez, The News Press, USA Today, and announced 9,884 fans were treated to a perfect afternoon with the bulk of Grapefruit League action beginning for most big league clubs. The Red Sox starting lineup consisted of just two regulars in Rafael Devers and Sandy Leon which allowed younger players like Chavis an opportunity. With Boston trailing 3-2-1 entering the bottom of the third, the Red Sox had already scored twice to tie the game before Chavis, listed by Baseball America as the organization's no. Two prospect, drilled an opposite field shot to give the Red Sox a 6-3 lead. Boston Red Sox players jumped the dugout fence to take the field for the start of the game. Boston Red Sox were victorious over the New York Yankees in front of packed house in their spring training opener at JetBlue Park, Fort Myers, Florida. February 23, 2019 Photo 11, Andrea Melendez, The News Press, USA Today, It's good to have that kind of success and get those results at first, Chava said. That's not something you're really trying to focus on. You've got so much going on day to day, and it's cool to see your hard work pay off in that kind of aspect but that's not the end goal. What we're working for every day and everything long term isn't for home runs in Major League Spring Training not that that's not cool. It's awesome, in no doubt about that, the Red Sox will be back at JetBlue Park on Sunday at 1 p.m. to take on the Minnesota Twins.